guys welcome back so this video is going to be just a simple look and swatches of the new James Charles and Morphe collaboration palette okay it's not an in-depth review about pigment about eyeshadow primer versus concealer all of that stuff no 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 not this video <laughs> I just wanted to go ahead and use this palette okay I just wanted to open it up try it out use it so of course I had to film a look for you guys and this is the look that I did today hopefully you guys like it but what I will say about this palette okay let's just go ahead and show off this gorgeous beautiful packaging now this is the box that this palette comes in okay absolutely gorgeous you can see James Charles on here stunning doing his thing with his rainbow colors it's a beautiful huge white box now the actual palette is black so as you can see I got my nice little greasy fingerprints all over it <laughs> from using it today but this is what the actual palette looks like and I love it. I, I really, really love this packaging. I love the shiny writing. It's very sleek, very, very nice. I like it, okay? I like it a lot. So anywho, you can see how huge this palette is. It is a very large palette. Now, this palette, I know James Charles, encourages us all to release our inner artist and y'all know I love to release my inner artist this is what this palette looks like okay huge gorgeous extremely colorful but there are also some gorgeous neutral shades in here as you can see the beautiful purples and blues reds yellows the larger pans are shades that you would most likely use more often than the other shadows but you see that black in there amazing so I just want to go ahead jump into some swatches and then we will go ahead and move forward with this video now what I do want to say before I jump into these swatches is I actually said I was not buying this palette I told several people I'm not buying that palette friends relatives loved ones <laughs> <laughs> whatever I said I'm not buying that palette okay and you might be like well why weren't you gonna buy the palette there's several reasons why I wasn't gonna buy the palette let me share some of those reasons with you the first reason pinky rose bright lights now this palette has a lot of what I would consider rainbow but fluorescent type shades so okay it has a different feel to it but another bright palette Ace Beauty, Slice of Paradise. Another bright, colorful palette that I have in my collection. As you can see, this one is very, very bright as well. Gorgeous, but a rainbow palette nonetheless. Revolution Pro, Mischief Mattes. Gorgeous matte rainbow palette. And the pigment is actually out of this world in this palette. Amazing pigment. Carity Matte Palette. 21 highly pigmented shadows rainbow nice brown black white beautiful colorful palette gorgeous take me back to brazil nice bh cosmetics affordable palette gorgeous rainbow shades look at the beautiful cover on this packaging this is what the inside looks like as you can see a beautiful array of gorgeous rainbow shades gorgeous shades here I even have a generic 35B palette when I tried to order the 35B and it was sold out and gone every time I went to get it I found a generic one and so I purchased it beautiful rainbow shades I've used it love it gorgeous rainbow palette box of crayons another gorgeous beautiful colorful palette that I have in my collection look at this palette you guys several beautiful colorful shadows gorgeous shimmer shades nice warm tones but everything you need to create a colorful look right right so I'm pretty sure you guys can understand why it was that I said I'm not buying this palette but as you all know I am a makeup addict <laughs> and because of that 
Your girl bought the palette as soon as it came back in stock. I was right there on Ulta using my points, using my coupon, and I got me a palette. But the beautiful thing is I only spent about $25 for my palette. <laughs> now this palette you can purchase at Ulta and on the Morphe website for $39, which actually isn't bad for this palette. You guys, it's a huge palette. There are 39 shades in here, so you're paying a dollar per shadow. So just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys so you guys will understand what I go through as a beauty enthusiast here on YouTube, okay? I bought this for you guys. Let's just say that. I bought it for you guys, okay? <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So let's just jump into some swatches right quick so we can take a look at this palette on my arm and then we will move forward into this look. surprised at all at how this palette swatched. It swatched to me pretty much how I would expect a Morphe palette to swatch and in my opinion it didn't swatch too bad. You know it wasn't the best swatching palette that I've ever swatched but I don't think it swatched bad at all. The pigment in these shades is there. I really really like it. This one here this light shimmer purple color it didn't really swatch as nicely as I expected it to. Um, maybe it's supposed to be more like a topper shade and I didn't use it today so I can't really give my opinion on how that will look on the eyelid. I will use it in a future look but for this look as you can see I went all matte today so but that one the swatch didn't really wow me very much and that is a shade in here that I was excited about so we'll see what happens but that's basically it for this palette swatched that was the whole palette swatch that I so did show. So just my basic thoughts on this palette after having used it to create this look today. I love it. I feel like it is very, very pigmented. And that's something that I really, really love in a colorful, bright palette is pigment. Now what I used on my eyelids today is the MAC Paint Pot, which is what I like to use when I do my eyeshadows. So. I didn't want to use anything other than what I normally use. That's what I use and that's now what I, I work with. I did have to with. spend a little bit of extra time blending the colors into each other, but I feel like it also had to do with the colors that I chose being so bold and so deep as well as the way that I did my eye look today because I really just went one color, the next color, the next color. So. I did have to spend a little bit of time blending them into each other but I don't mind that because when you have pigment like this I will spend a little extra time blending to get the look that I want so that's really all I have to say about this palette you guys I like it a lot I think it swatched pretty nicely and me using it I really don't feel like I had any issues or problems using this palette so if you'd like to see how I created this look today then stay tuned because it's coming up next. <laughs> 